Hello, my friends. How are you guys doing? So I am sitting here makeup free because I wanted to do a video um, and I am home for the first day in like many, many days. And so this video that I wanted to talk about was um, just some of the struggles that I have been going through over the course of the last week and how I've still managed to kind of um, make some movement on my weight loss journey. So the last week, since I think I did my last video in Virginia with you guys, was about a week ago, and I have been traveling nonstop. And um, I'm just really tired. You know, like when your schedule is so packed and you are just overwhelmed with all the things you need to do and, um, you, you know, you, you feel like you just can't stop and you're just doing a bunch of stuff all the time. Well, that is what my last week has been like. Um, and so because of that, I was really, you know, worried about getting on the scale today. Um, I knew that I was going to weigh myself today and I was just feeling kind of like my week had been out of control. And that is when I feel like I am struggling the most, even with Ozempic, because I'm not able to plan and I'm not able to, you know, make sure that I am on the right track. And that is not to say that when you travel, you can't plan. It's just that when you're constantly go, 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 there is just a lot that you can't control. And so that was my worry for this last week. And I had talked to you guys about a couple of videos ago about how I was feeling like I was in a little bit of a plateau. And really the only time I feel like I'm really struggling is when my life just kind of feels out of control. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. When you can't plan your meals, when you have very early mornings and very late nights. I don't know if any of you guys live this kind of lifestyle like me, but there's just a lot that goes into my days. And so I have not been able to really integrate any sort of regular exercise. And I have been um, kind of stressed about it because one, I like to exercise. I like to lift weights and I like to go to the gym and I like to lift heavy, um, which is why I had posted how you guys, you know, what do you guys like to do for exercise? And I have a Peloton and I think I got on it like once or twice. And so I wasn't feeling very in control. And I realized that when I don't plan out my schedule and when I don't be sure to put in those days for exercise or those times or little time blocks for exercise, I just feel like I am struggling and grasping and just kind of like not doing as well when I'm not focused on my weight loss journey. And so um, with that said, this morning when I got on the scale, I had lost three more pounds. So now I'm up to like 30 or 31 pounds lost since November. Uh, it is now April 1st. No, this is not an April Fool's joke. I really did. Um, but it has just been um, a week where I have felt very out of control. And so my focus for this upcoming week, it is Friday today, um, is to just kind of wrap up all the things I need to do. If you looked at my office right now, you would see that it is a complete bomb. I have barely spent any time at home. So I feel like my house is, you know, just neglected. Um, and so I'm going to use this weekend, my free weekend, the only weekend that I have to really get everything in order so that I can kick off next week feeling like I'm building in time for exercise and I'm staying focused on my goal. So I just you know, I'm actually posting this probably more for feedback from you guys. Um, I'm just curious if any of you uh, have been struggling with the same thing. This is such a season of um, uncertainty, I think, for a lot of people. COVID uh, seems to be coming to somewhat of an end. Um, I'm about to get my booster, my second booster today. And so I'm feeling a little bit like nervous about that. How am I going to feel about it? And I'm just going to really take some time to focus. Um, but again, I'm, I'm interested in like, how do you guys like get your shit together when you feel like you've been scrambling for an extended period of time? Um, it's going to be something that I'm going to really work on this weekend in the, in the next week. And I will let you know how that goes. I'm very glad that I lost a few more pounds, but, um, I'm feeling tired. Um, 
One thing I did want to mention is um, my side effects. Now that I have been several weeks on 2.0, I'm not feeling as much fatigue as I felt for the first two or three weeks taking 2.0. And the waves of nausea have seemed to subsided. I'm going to knock on wood because watch this afternoon, I'll probably feel terrible. But overall, I do think that once you are on a dosage for a few weeks, I do believe, for me anyway, I'm not a doctor, just want to put that out there, that the side, of, the side effects tend to go away. So I find that to be um, hopeful for people who are really worried about the side effects of Ozempic. So anyway, just wanted to do a check-in. The next thing I want to talk about, um, maybe I'll talk about it a little bit later if I have some time this weekend, I've been using the app Me360 and I want to share my experience with that app. Um, I think you'll find it interesting. Please like and subscribe if you're trying to follow along with where I'm going. You know, we're celebrating wins around here. We're doing pretty good. Um, but this is certainly a weekend of reflection and organization for me. And I wish you all uh, the same peace and quiet that I'm hoping to get this weekend. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. And I'll try to answer some of the comments today. Take care.